He marshaled their defence for over five seasons, and now Tony Popovich is back patrolling the pitches at Crystal Palace on a path most aspiring Australian coaches would love to venture down. This is obviously one of those things for me when I finish playing, uh, hoping to come and coach in Europe. Uh, the opportunity presented itself maybe a bit earlier than what I expected. But, you know, when these opportunities come, you've uh, really got to take it and, and uh, have a go at it and, and see how you do. Poached from Sydney FC in February by former teammate Dougie Friedman, soon after the Scotsman got the top job at Palace, it's a partnership that's been a long time in the making. We'd always be talking about after the games and what we have done and what the manager should have done and things like that, you know. And so we always had an understanding about the game. It was always the same. So when I did make the call to him, you know, he'd one or two things to sort out in Sydney, but eventually I'm so glad he came over. Coaching was always a Popovich passion, stepping into an assistant's role straight after retiring as a player at Sydney and serving under both John Kosmina and Vitislav Levichka. So it kind of set me up and I was well prepared, but uh, when I got here, I think, you know, you have to go to another level or, or you, you kind of get left behind a little. Well, he's very intense as a coach, you know, he demands the quality that you needed to play at the top level, as he did when coaching first team players. You got to push them every day. You got to demand certain uh, things from them. You know, mental, mentally as well as physically. And, and, and Tony does that. So, oh, no doubt, Tony will be a manager one day. You know, uh, long term, I, I see myself as uh, as a manager, and, and hopefully uh, having an opportunity to run a club myself. Right now, Palace is very much the priority for Popovich. But just like he did as a player, he aims to reach the very top. So there's no prizes for getting the job he covets most. That'd be great for the country and great to see an Aussie um, lead the Socceroos. In our field of coaching, you know, that, that's got to be an ambition. And whether, whether you, know, you get there or not, that's, that's another story. But, but obviously, that's an that's ultimate long-term goal. That job may be a little way off, but his knowledge of Australian football has helped Popovich make an immediate impact at Palace with the recommendation of Mila Yedinak to his new boss. Pretty much the best free transfer of the summer over in England. He, he went with me, with me on that um, and, and Mila's done, done great so far. My teammates have made it an easy, easy for me and you know, I'm feeling very comfortable at the moment. When fit Mila, Mila will play, he's an international player, a very high, he demands very high standards every time he trains, so you know, he'll be key to our success. Success is something all at Palace are enjoying right now. Their giant killing win over Manchester United has delivered them a date with Cardiff in the Carling Cup semis. Victory there and a final against Liverpool or Man City at Wembley awaits. That would be another momentous occasion in Yedinak's burgeoning career. But it's the recent birth of his first child that really has him buzzing. Let's not kid ourselves here. Um, it's the best thing and probably the biggest thing that's ever happened to me. Crystal Palace of Soccer Rooms, man. Do you want those on first? We'll try and get a Soccer Rooms one on, I think, first, and then we'll see how we go.